Good morning, this is Connor from Zero DTE Traders here to present our Market Minute for May 6, 2024. It is 11.30 and the SPX is trading higher, up 5 tenths of a percent to 51.54. It is bullish out here, opening with a gap up and above the previous session's high, so technically outside day trend continuation. Um, although we really haven't seen much action here in the cash market, essentially just basing sideways. And, and this loss of momentum is evident in market internals as well. Most notably ADD, which measures market breadth, going from plus 1,900 to plus 1,400. Still in positive territory, um, but we're definitely seeing uh, this rally get sold into a little bit. Now on a positive note, growth is outperforming. Uh, which could limit downside if that persists. Now, something we want to pay very close attention to is volatility metrics. The VIX up 3% uh, around the 14 handle. Now, further vol compression is not going to do a whole lot to bolster the market, uh, but if vol catches a bid, it will most certainly exacerbate sell flows. Um, so again, definitely something you want to pay attention to. The dollar rates flat, um, so no impact here thus far. Now, in terms of levels, support 51.50, uh, followed by gap fill on the downside. That is the previous session's closing price at 51.27, uh, with 51.25 as gamma support. On the upside, implied high sits at 51.63, SPY call wall 51.65. Okay, that is SPY 515, a pretty significant level. Um, now, if bulls can manage to break that, it opens the door to ES5200, okay, which is SPX5173, and then SPX gamma resistance at 5175. So that would be the next resistance zone. Now, let's go over to the gamma charts and uh, highlight the current dynamics because there are some changes from last week. Starting from the top, the SPX gamma index is positive plus 120 million and is much more neutral than imbalanced. And that flip, so the transition is 5150, quite clear. All strikes above, positive, supportive for the market price. All strikes below, negative, which is destabilizing for the market price. Um, now you can see there's quite a bit of resistance overhead. Uh, 5150, you got that 5175 zone. Uh, and of course the call wall at 5200. Now, we have noticed this pattern. As a matter of fact, we played this pattern when we were in the previous positive gamma regime that ran from the beginning of November 2023 uh, up really until the first week of April here in 2024. And that is the market would break the flip intraday and would, would move negative gamma, but only for one day. And then the following day, you know, dip buyers came in and you had a bit of a squeeze on the upside. Now, we're in a situation here that is a little bit different, right? We're coming from a negative gamma regime and flipping positive for one day. Uh, we saw this play out once uh, back on 430, so April 30th, and we've seen this uh, a few times as well in the previous gamma regime that ran from August 2023 up until the beginning of November 2023. Um, so not saying that this is going to happen, that we're going to slam down today uh, and move back into negative gamma, but the market does have a tendency to trap bulls and bears and, you know, just move, in this case, positive for one day before, you know, a bit of a rug pull. Um, so definitely something you want to pay attention to. You know, if particularly if you get that bid in volatility, uh, that would be your cue. And as we highlighted, it is starting to trend higher. Now, in terms of volatility events today, we have not a whole lot on the calendar today and for the rest of this week. Um, now, something that could spark volatility is the Federal Reserve's loan officer survey at 2 p.m. It's much like the FOMC minutes. It's kind of a hit or miss. Um, but something you want to pay attention to. Additionally, we have some Fed speak this afternoon, Fed Barkin, 12.50 p.m., Fed Williams, 1 p.m. Now, our view, which is really echoing our comments from Friday, is that there is squeeze fuel up to 5,100, but beyond that, upside movement must be led by bullish positioning. Uh, above 5,100, it is more likely for the market to experience a positive drift than a sharp upside rally, uh, which is evident here via today's price action and Friday's price action. Now, you can see momentum on the upside 
if it's led by bullish positioning. And that doesn't have to come in the form of longer dated options. If it is zero DTE call buying, uh, you could very well see a sharp move up on an intraday basis. The only difference is, is that it's not lasting impact. Um, so it's really that flip is what we're paying attention to because if we can hold above that flip, uh, we should start to see a contraction here in realized and implied volatility and the market should start to stable out this week. But below that flip, uh, we're gonna be back into that negative gamma regime and we should be expecting more volatility. It's important to note that these metrics can change day to day and the flip particularly is very sensitive. Um, so it's important to uh, go back, look at the updated data uh, and see if that level has changed or not. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. If you're not a member and you're interested in learning more, you can visit our website at zerodtetraders.com. Best of luck out there today.